Oh, over the allotment. There's a magpie caught in one of the greenhouses. Can't stand these fucking things. Oh, oh bloody hell. Come on, you. Oh. Oi. Or you could go out that way. It's simple, really. Come on. You're almost there. Come here. Come on. You little bully boy shit. There, that way. Oh, well. Oh. Oh. Managed to get the thing out. Oh. Oh, I can't stand the things, but anyway. Oh. oh, over the allotment. Pissing wet. And it would be pissing wet forevermore. I had a sweet potato. I just dug it up. And there were, it did grow. There were little sweet potatoes, but unfortunately they're all rotten. I've got four potatoes under here. I can't be asked to dig them up, to be honest. Maybe another day. And a conifer planted on the corner. I've got three more to go in. And of course, that's that red love apple. Just a little cyclamen there. Not much going on, really. Not this time of year. I loaded up this feeder with mealworm again for the robin. Sadly, it looks like my apple trees on the way out that I planted in 1998. I need to find something to prune some branches off, but I think eventually it's just going to keep dying. Shame, because I thought it would at least last, you know, with me. But... It got sun scorched or just the current climate it's just polluted the ground and everything's dying won't be the first tree that I've or fruit bush that I've lost also I cut the pear tree down by half this is probably another one that will die eventually because the ground is always sour here because of the rain on clay soil. But we'll have to see. Maybe I'll, I'll just make a circle around it. Not that I've got room, but get some air to the roots. But I have a feeling that even this pear tree will die. It's never really done any good. The um, Mirabelle Plum. Last time I was here, I managed to cut some of the bits out of the Annerley Mirabelle Plum. Looks a lot better, but I can't really reach the top. I don't think I'll be able to. You'll just have to leave it. I'll have to leave that. But luckily, this other plum here, first time I've actually put a tree in this position, and it actually come to something. Only problem is, I had a crop of plums this year, quite a lot. And the second lot got nicked the second half I don't know what this is about see this could be the same problem again this could be the same problem again with trees that are just randomly dying everywhere Egremont russet apple that's just a oak tree that I'm keeping clipped down this pile of crap has been here for about 10 years. Oh dear. I might get a recycle bin and fill it up because I noticed the skip's open. It's the first time on a Saturday I've been here and the skip's been open. So it's a miracle. So I'm going to pick up some crap and throw it away because I need to clear some crap off my plot. But apart from that, not really much going. The box battlements are still alive. I think what it was, we had this box moth, and I think for two years they were, they were like an infestation. 
and there were so many they eradicated so much box but now because there's so little box left we're now back to a normal level so you never know there may still be some hope for the British box hedge after all although you know, I don't know I'll have to see as I say I've got three more of these conifers to put in I've pretty much given up on the idea of growing crops because it's impossible here I don't have the health or the strength and I'd have to have raised beds and I don't have the energy to make raised beds so it's just a case of planting as many trees as I can to suck water up make it 70s style and then if I ever get my health back or survive oh I don't know we'll have to see but as I said I've got some potatoes under there white potatoes but it's just the wet this is London clay it's clay soil so I'm just going to keep planting well I don't know about trees but I need, need to plant something to suck the water up also I noticed for the first time ever go to this corner this Japanese maple it has suffered but could this be the first ever Japanese maple on this corner that I've planted that may well survive considering the ground conditions we'll have to see it'll be nice because I've always wanted one on this corner and they always die this needs cutting back this for being the bonariensis <sighs> Oh, my father's plot has finally been taken back. He's lost it. He's lost the plot. End of an era. He won the silverware for over 20 years. But they're clearing it now to rent it out to someone else. Oh. Oh. He had this for years and he's had an allotment on this site since 1964 was it? Peter Bashford said I could take what I wanted but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's a nice old watering can there look at the back. It's the rose I need. I've got a watering can but I need the rose off of it. I might have a look later. But this was my father's old plots. 187 and 188. Looks like they've drained the water tank. There were fish in here at one point. Goldfish. I should imagine they moved them on. See what I mean by, look. This Bramley apple tree. This is so old. This is years old. And look. It's, it's dying. I just can't understand why all our fruit trees are dying. It's spreading. Is it winter sun shock? Is it just that the ground is poisoned now? I wouldn't be at all surprised. The shit they're pumping into the atmosphere. This tree's fucked. It's on its last legs. How can we save the planet when the, tra the, when the trees we plant just die? It's what they want, I suppose. Ruby! Oh, it's Ruby, Ruby, Ruby! Hello, beautiful. This is the official allotment cat, Ruby. Lord knows what she's eating. I've got some dreamies. Some dreamies. She's a wild allotment cat. Uh, I suppose I should try and find some dreamies. Uh, she's pretty much a miniature panther. I'll see if I can find the dreamies for rubes. But knowing her, she'll probably run off. She seems to hang about in this area 
that's why I wanted to have oh no I'm not going to find them am I oh hang on no it's, it's a shame I don't actually have bugger all in my shed but to find anything is a nightmare and my memory is so poor these days <sighs> Where did I put them dreamers? Ah, oh, cactus collection is snoozing. Now, by the time I find these dreamers, she'd be gone. Oh well. Shame. But that is the disorganisation of my life. What about this pot here? No. What about this one? No. Oh, it's miserable. It really is miserable. Oh, I'll Hang on. Uh, we've got some sticks. Oh, I bet she's gone. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is exactly the reason why I wanted my shed higher. Because if my shed was higher, I could make a nice dry place for her to sleep. Ruby! She's still rubbing that lump of dirt. Ruby! Yeah. And now the hard part. Yes, darling. Mm. Getting into it. I know. I've got to do one fucking hand. Oh, oh, the misery of it all. Hey, eh? Ruby Rubes. Uh, Ruby, 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 Ruby. Here we go. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. Poor little fuck. She's starving. Ruby. This is a standard size cat. Mine's my Florine is half his size. Ruby. She's got limited patience, this cat. You give her a fuss and then she'll decide, I want to kill you. It's just the way she is. Oh God, I hate these things. They're not environmentally friendly. They're all this plastic and foil. Oh, oh, God. Over here, robes. Oh, my God, she's starving, her poor little shit. Oh, dear. There you go, sweetheart. Oh, Ruby, 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 Ruby. Woofed it down, or meowed it down there, those sweet cheeks. So this is the official allotment cat. I wouldn't touch the back end. She's not keen on it. Oh, Ruby, Ruby, you're gonna piss on me. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. Oh. Try to get some fresh air and exercise. I thought I'd pop over here just to f basically fill up that mealworm um, thing. And we've seen Ruby as well, which is nice. And I've given her a few bits of meat stick. I'll have to bring a, a bag of dreamies down. But like I said, if my shed wasn't put as low as it was with um, the sleepers, upright not flat i would have made somewhere for her to sleep you know i used to have an old cat carry bag and i would have put that under there but unfortunately no one would have fucking listened to me anyway yeah she's going to rub that lump of dirt again 
<laughs> anyway. At least I've got out. Oh yeah, and 2021, new year. I won't say the H word because we just don't know what the hell is going to happen. Hell, yeah. But 2021, I hope you're all doing well out there. Jonathan here, DJ Puff the third. Just fed the cat at the allotment. Stay strong, everyone. Take care of your families. Make yourself a brick wall. I mean, personally, make yourself a brick shit house and survive. Take care of yourselves. And we'll have to see. <laughs> Sadly, my cleaner came round to my flat again. Well, me was positive thing. She'd done a load of cleaning and hoovering, but unfortunately, my living room is even more full of shit now. So my videos of going through my bottles, the best of, have been set back even further now. I hate it, I really do, because I just don't really have the health and the breath and the mentality to do nothing these days. My God, what is she doing? And <laughs> anyway, um, I'll have to see. I never put anything up for Christmas and anything like that because I can't face doing F all these days. It's a constant battle just to sort my flat out. And if I'm well enough to do it, you know, dark days. And I just have to see tiny, tiny, tiny little steps, I'm afraid, is all I can do with my flat. So, um, yeah, we'll have to see. But I do hope to do videos um, of me going through my bottles. Anyway... Try and keep getting your fresh air and your exercise. I know it's hard at this <clears throat> current time, but just your own judgment. Try and stay safe. Yeah, there'll be uh, there'll be another video as well. I managed to find a magpie stuck in one of the greenhouses. Hate the bloody things, but I had to try and scare it out the front door. I left the door open. It managed to find its way out eventually. So there'll be a video of a, a magpie stuck in the greenhouse. Anyway, I'll catch you guys again soon, hopefully with an interesting video, but I have been struggling health-wise and mentally. Ruby's still here being stupid, doing a nut, <laughs> and we'll end it with Ruby, I think. Ruby! Ah! <laughs> Oh, she's lovely, but she's wild. <laughs> she's acting wild as well. Good way to build up an immune system, though, isn't it? <laughs>